Goblin launch detected. Uh-oh. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. If you're looking for cards in the US, look no further as you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA to get you 5% off anything on the site. Or if you're in Canada like me, you can use the same promo code at Multizone to get 10% off your orders of singles. If cards aren't what you're looking for, Original Magic Art has playmats, tokens, and sweet art that you can use that same promo code to help you get 5% off your order there. If you're looking to bling out your cards, using Alter Sleeves is a great way to do so, and you can click the affiliate link in my About section to help out the channel as you make an order. And if you just want to help out the channel, you can always consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month and join the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's game is a multi-zone matchup, with Martin rocking the Dakin Blackblade original. He's got Ghost Town, Plains, Dromar's Cavern, Sora Marrow, First to Dream, Amulet of Vigor, Knight of the White Orchard, and Horn of Greed. I'm playing Titania, keeping Constant Mists, Corsair of Crufix, Elvish Mystic, Wooded Foothills, Snow-Covered Forest, Zurin Orb, and a Bant Panorama. We have another Martin, who I'll refer to as Other Martin, is playing Sakashima, and he keeps Esper Panorama, Forbid, Capsize, Flooded Strand, Phyrexian Metamorph, Reliquary Tower, and Treachery. Loic is returned with his Rune deck, keeping it Evolving Wilds, Sun Petal Grove, Crossing Grip, Restoration Angel, Wall of Blossoms, Eternal Witness, and a Farseek. Other Martin wins the die roll and starts us off. He plays a Flooded Strand, passing. Loic plays an Evolving Wilds and cracks it to find a forest and passes. Martin plays a Plains and casts an Expedition Map. I play a Forest and cast Elvish Mystic. At the end of my turn, Other Martin cracks a Strand to go and find an Island. Other Martin plays an Esper Panorama and cracks that as well to go and find an Island and passes. Loic plays a Sun Petal Grove, and then casts a Farseek. He goes to find a Breeding Pool, putting into play tapped, and passes. Martin floats a White, and plays Dromar's Cavern, and bounces his basic back to hand. He then taps the Cavern for White, and casts Knight of the White Orchard, and goes to find a Tundra, putting it into play. He follows up with an Amulet of Vigor, and then passes to me. I play a Bant Panorama, and then pay 3 for Corsair of Crufix, revealing my top card. Other Martin plays a Reliquary Tower, and passes. Loic plays a Forest, and casts Kadama's Reach. He searches his deck for a Plains to the field, and an Island to his hand, and passes. Martin plays a Godless Shrine, which comes in untapped thanks to the Amulet, and he casts a Horn of Greed. He moves to combat, and swings at his natural archenemy, the other Martin, for two. I untap and play a Wooded Foothills. I effectively gain one life from it coming into play, and crack it, losing one life to go and find a forest. The forest gains me one as it comes in, and I then swing my courser at Martin for two, and pass. Other Martin plays a Polluted Delta, and draws from the horn, and passes. Loic plays an island, and draws off the horn as well. He then casts a wall of blossoms, drawing as it enters, and follows up the Brago before passing turn. Martin plays a Thespian Stage, drawing a card from the horn, and passing. I play a forest off the top of my library, drawing a card, and gaining a life. I then cast Soul Ring, and follow up with Titania. Other Martin cracks his Delta for an island, while Martin cracks his Expedition Map to find an Academy Ruins, and passes turn. Other Martin plays an island for turn, and then pays 3 for Vidalcan Shackles. Loic plays a Yavamaya Coast, drawing him a card from the Horn. He pays 4 for Restoration Angel, flickering the Wall of Blossoms to draw a card. He then casts Knight of Autumn, which, as it comes in, has Loic choosing to destroy the Amulet of Vigor. He then swings at me with Brego, and deals two, and with Brego's trigger, flickers his entire board of creatures. With the Restoration Angel enter the battlefield effect, he flickers the knight again, effectively gaining two of its triggers. He also draws a card, 
and destroys a Vidalcan Shackles and my Corsair of Crufix, and his creatures come in untapped. He then passes to Martin, who takes the opportunity to cycle an Irrigated Farmlands. Martin untaps, and plays the Academy Ruins he found, passing. I untap, and cast Zurin Orb in my main phase. I crack my wooded foothills for a forest, which triggers Titania, making an element token. I then cast Rishkar's Expertise, drawing 5 and putting a card with a mana value of 6 or less into play. That card is Beast Within, which I use to destroy Brego. I then discard down to hand size, passing to Other Martin. Other Martin untaps and plays an island. He pays 3 mana and 2 life for a Phyrexian Metamorph, which comes in as a copy of the Knight of Autumn. He blows up my Zurin Orb and passes. Loic untaps and goes to cast his commander, Rune of the Hidden Realms. He then moves to combat and swings the Restoration Angel at me, and I can't block, taking the hit. He follows up in his post-combat main phase with an Eternal Witness, putting Brago back to hand. He passes, and at the end of turn, Martin uses Academy Ruins to put the Expedition map back on top of his library. Martin draws his map and plays a Command Tower, drawing up the Horn of Greed. He then taps for a Soul Ring, which he uses to cast the Expedition map. And he cracks it once it's on the field, to go and find a Terrain Generator, putting to his hand, and passing. I untap and play a Command Beacon, insisting that everything is fine. I cast a Natural Order, sacrificing the Elvish Mystic as an additional cost, and go and find Avenger of Zendikar, putting seven zero one one Broccolis into play. I then drop a Ramulak Excavator and pass to Other Martin. Other Martin plays a land in his main phase and then casts a Sower of Temptation. It comes in, steals my Titania, and he passes turn. Loic untaps and plays a Reliquary Tower. He recasts Brego and then Swiftfoot Boots. Brego gets the booties despite being a ghost, and he moves to combat. He swings Brego at Martin, but before damage, I cast Constant Mists without buyback to fog the turn, to preemptively stop the Blinking Bonanza. With nothing else, Loic just passes to Martin, who at the end of turn, uses the Academy Ruins to once more put the map on top. Martin plays Retreat to Coralhelm, and then a Terrain Generator. He stacks his triggers to Scry, and then draw from the Horn of Greed. Next up, he casts a Rhystic Study, and passes. Loic, unhappy with the Rhystic Study, activates Rune to Flicker the Knight and they come back at the end of turn, taking it out. I untap and replay the Wooded Foothills from my graveyard, and then crack it, putting two 1-1 one -one counters on all my plants. I then cast a Green Sun Zenith where X is 8, and I find a Crater Hoof Behemoth. It enters the battlefield, but with its trigger on the stack, Other Martin casts Disallow, much to my dismay. Not being discouraged though, I swing all of my plants, the Crater Hoof, and the elemental at Loic. Before blocks can be declared, Martin activates his terrain generator and puts a planes into play and uses the retreat trigger to tap down Loic's restoration angel. Loic then jumps the two biggest creatures and takes the rest. I then pass my turn and with a sigh, stare longingly at my Titania. Other Martin untaps and draws. He plays Seed of the Synod, drawing a card from the horn. He then casts his own commander, Sakashima, and has it come in as a copy of Avenger of Zendikar, making eight plant tokens of his own. He then moves to combat, and swings at his natural archenemy, Martin, with the Sower. With nothing else, he passes. Loic untaps, and slams down a Sun Titan, which is swiftly countered by other Martin with a Forbid. Loic then moves to combat, and swings Brago at other Martin for two. Brago connects, and Loic flickers Brago, the Restoration Angel, and the Wall of Blossoms. They then all enter, and the Restoration Angel then flickers the Wall of Blossoms again, so Loic gets to draw two. He then plays a land for turn, and draws from the Horde of Greed, and passes to Martin. Martin untaps, and plays the Expedition map again. 
He cracks it, this time going to find an Urborg, which he plays as his land for turn. He stacks his scribe before the draw, and then out comes Obnixilus the Fallen, followed by a Pilgrim's Eye, which lets him go and find a basic to hand. With no attacks, Martin just passes to me. I untap and do the Wooded Foothills loop again to put another 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto all of my plants. I then cast Reclamation Sage, which blows up Loic's Swiftfoot Boots. I declare the same attackers going at Loic as the previous turn, and this time Loic blocks the Crater Hoof with Rune, the Elemental with the Angel, and 3 plant tokens. Before damage, he flickers the Restoration Angel with Rune. We then move to damage, and Loic takes 16 from the unblocked plants. I then cast a Sunstone in my second main phase, and pass. This has the Restoration Angel coming back at the end of my turn, but it has sadly no targets to blink. Other Martin untaps and casts Treachery. He steals Martin's Obnixilus and untaps some lands, and passes. Loic untaps and casts Coiling Oracle. He reveals Reflector Mage, drawing it, and then casts a Hornet Queen. This has him putting 4 1 1 flying insect tokens with Death Touch in, and he passes to Martin. Martin untaps and draws. He plays a land, scries, and then draws it. He casts Explorer's Scope and equips it to his Pilgrim's Eye. He swings it at me, and I take the 1, and Martin gets to look at the top card of his library. Unfortunately, it's not a land and Martin then proceeds to transmute Teleria West to go and find Cabal Coffers, and pass to me. I play Nyxos, which puts a 1-1 counter onto all of my plant tokens, and then cast Greater Good. I sacrifice the Crater Hoof to draw 5, and then discard 3. I then cast a Wayward Swordtooth, playing an additional land from my graveyard, and this gets to put another plus 1 plus 1 counter onto all of my plants. I then cast Court of Calling where X is 3, which gets twin casted by Other Martin. Other Martin goes to find Thada Adele, and then my copy resolves. I find an Eternal Witness, bringing back Craterhoof to my hand. I cast an Exploration, and follow up with Aestheticism. Moving to combat, I swing at Loic with all my plants, and the Elemental token as well. Loic blocks with the Restoration Angel, the Coiling Oracle, and his four flying insects on the plants, and the Hornet Queen goes on the Elemental token. One plant does get through though, and Loic drops to five, and I pass turn. Other Martin untaps her turn, and goes straight to combat. He swings my commander at Loic, taking him out. He then casts a Sculpting Steel, having it come into play as a copy of the Sunstone, and passes to Martin. At the end of Other Martin's turn, Martin activates the Terrain Generator, putting a basic land into play, and Scries, putting to the bottom. Martin untaps, and draws. He plays a Cabal Coffers, Scrying to the bottom, and drawing. He then taps the Coffers for 12 black mana, and with the addition of some blue mana, casts Sormaro, first to dream. He activates Sumaro's ability to return a land to hand, and draw a card. He then uses the leftover mana to cast Admonition Angel, and then Noresco's Explorer, going to find a land and put it to hand. Martin then moves to combat, swinging the Pilgrim at me for one, but doesn't hit a land off the Explorer's scope hit. He then passes to me with nothing else to do. I replay the Wooded Foothills, and crack it for a total of three times, putting six more plus one plus one counters onto all of my plants. I then cast Nissa Vital Force, and sacrifice the Reclamation Sage to greater good, drawing 2 and discarding 3. I then minus Nissa to return the Sage to hand, and cast it, destroying Other Martin's copy of Sunstone. Other Martin sacrifices a Snow-Covered Island, and fogs combat this turn, and the copy is then destroyed. I follow up with a Sylvan Library, and pass turn. Other Martin untaps and moves to combat. He sings the sower at Nissa, and he's able to swing Thana at Delip Martin with no worries. Before damage, Martin uses the Terrain Generator to put an island to play, which triggers the Admonition Angel, and he exiles Thada Adele, and gets a Strike Trigger as well. Other Martin just passes. Before moving to his turn though, Martin casts Tithe at the end of the Other Martin's turn, and goes to find two basics to put to hand. 
Martin untaps and starts by activating Cabal Coffers. He floats some mana and plays a Scrubland, and using the Angel's triggers it comes in, exiles a treachery enchanting Obnixilis. The trigger resolves, and Martin regains control of his creature. He then casts Patron in the Moon, the true engine of this deck. Other Martin decides to cast Snapcaster with the Patron on the stack, and gives Flashback to Disallow, attempting to counter the spell. Responding to the Disallow, Martin activates his Saramaro twice, returning two lands to hand and drawing two cards. Sadly, one of those is in a counter, and Disallow resolves, countering the Patron. Martin then casts an Uyo, Silent Prophet, and moves to discard down to hand size, passing to me. I untap and cast Azusa and play and crack my wooded foothills a total of 5 times this turn, for a total of 10 plus 1 plus 1 counters. I then cast a Splendid Reclamation to add insult to injury, putting even more lands into play. I still have enough mana at this point though to finish off with a classic Crater Hoof finish, and take out the board, winning the game. Game Review Time I was pretty surprised that other Martin was throwing out so many counter spells, especially as soon as he knew that I had the Crater Hoof in my hand. I know Aestheticism messed with a lot of people's plans since bouncing creatures or exiling them with Rune probably would have bought them a turn or two. I'm just really surprised I was able to win. Loic got targeted pretty hard since last game he won with Rune, and frankly, Bent Enter the Battlefield effects is a very strong deck, especially when he runs as many good creatures as he was in his deck. I think Other Martin's deck, which was based around cloning and stealing things, didn't really perform as well as he wanted it to. I do think Sakashima as the Avengers Endicar was the right move, but it seemed like he didn't have any lands to play and follow up with, so all of his plants as 0-1s versus my massive ones wasn't really a contest. Martin, on the other hand, certainly played a lot of lands and generated a ton of mana. I think the only downfall for his deck, unfortunately, was the fact that he drew all of his critical landfall abilities a little bit too late. That Admonition Angel would have certainly messed with my board, had the Aestheticism not been out. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.